This is a typical crab cake. Crab, white bread, maybe a couple other things. I was going to make one for you, but I decided you deserved better. So I'm going to make you a crab cake that tastes better than any you've ever had in your life. I'm making these kind of Thai style. So they've got a couple little twists that are not classic American crab cakes. I think they're more exciting. You need some binder in crab cakes, which is why white bread is so ideal, because it's essentially paste. Um, but what we're going to use for paste here is pureed shrimp, which has a ton of natural proteins that act like glue. To get the shrimp going in here, I'm going to use a little bit of fish sauce. If there's ever a fish cake that you want to get to hold together, do this. Puree some shrimp or some scallops. Works amazingly well. This is about a pound of real crab. Now, ideally, you want to get a fresh lump or claw crab meat. Heat a pan, peanut oil on the bottom for good, because we are doing a Thai-style crab cake. A tablespoon or two of scallions, some chopped ginger, cilantro, good quarter cup. A little bit of jalapeno, and we do need a little tiny bit of good breadcrumbs. Mix that up with an egg. Your hand is the best tool for this. These are, you know, fragile to begin with because it's 90% crab, or certainly 80% crab. A little dusting of flour as gently as you can, as quickly as you can, get them in the flour, get them in the pan. They will firm up because they've got that shrimp glue in there. I'd say these will go for three, four minutes per side. We could make a little white bread man. I'm showing how unhappy the white bread is to be not a big featured part of this operation. No, he doesn't look sad, he looks angry. I'm really upset that I'm not getting to be featured in this recipe. Oh, no. Okay, so see, firm, browned on both sides. Yes, little lime. These not only taste like crab, they are crab. They are superior crab cakes. Here you go. Mmm. All right, well, enough with Mr. White Bread. I'm eating the crab cake.